Hello friends, welcome to Gain and Ops lecture. In today's video lecture, we are going to talk about the phases of follicular development in the ovary. Follicle is, is the functional unit of ovary. Follicle is the functional unit of ovary. Functional unit. If we see that ovary, ovary performs two major function. One is ova production, ova production and own synthesis. So these two major function are performed by that is called as follicle. So that's why the follicle is considered as the functional unit of ovary. Uh, ovarian development so that we can understand that from where these follicle uh, come actually around five to six weeks we can say and during this embryonic period is developed in is nothing but the future gonad future which is bipotential which uh, which either is going to differentiate into ovary or testis so genital ridge is the future gonad so this genital ridge actually if you see here this is nothing but mesodermal mesodermal protrusion to the coelomic cavity so if you can see in this picture this is a uh, this is the large or you can say the zoom picture of this gonadal ridge so here you can see that this is the this is actually the uh, meso mesodermal protrusion to the coelomic cavity so this outer epithelium is nothing but coelomic epithelium and this is the mesenchyme and which contains mesodermal cell and one more cell you can see here this black color cell that actually comes from you can see here this yolk sac endoderm through migration process so they migrate from the yolk sac and reach up to the genital ridge so in the development of ovary we can say three primitive cells are involved three primitive cells or thelial cells second is mesodermal cells so this is first one this is second one and third one is the germ cell germ cell germ cell this germ cell is nothing but the future gamete future gamete and this epithelium will will be converted into the outer uh, outer layer of the ovary and this mesodermal cell uh, will be differentiated into some blood vessels and some stromal cells which will be present in the substance of the ovary so three primitive cells which involve in the process of which is involved in the process of uh, ovarian development that is epithelial cells second is mesodermal cells and third is germ cell next if you see that how the follicle how the follicles are developed in the ovary so here you can see what is happening actually these are the germ cell that have reached to the primitive gonad that is genital ridge and their number are only in hundreds like 500 to 1200 of germ cell are migrated from yolk sac to the genital ridge and they continue to divide through mitosis mitosis and after mitosis their number is reached up to millions that is 6 to 7 millions 6 to 7 millions at at 20th week of intrauterine life so this is around 6 weeks 6 to 7 weeks and this will be maximum at 20th week of intrauterine life. Meanwhile, you can see that the outer layer is getting infolded into the substance of the ovary. And later on, uh, they will get break 
and left as shreds of the epithelium shreds of the epithelium or you can say here just like epithelial shred ke form mein ye yahan pe pade rehte hain once the germ cell will, will reach the 6 to 7 millions uh numbers then the mitosis is stop mitosis stop mitosis stop and then these germ cell will enter into the meiosis 1 meiosis 1 so after reaching to the sufficient number what will happen all germ cell will enter into the meiosis 1 and will get arrested will get arrested will get arrested at the phase of or you can say prophase diplotene stage diplotene stage diplotene stage and now they are called as this arrested arrested germ cell are called as primary oocyte they are called as primary oocyte so once they are arrested and call it and called as a primary oocyte now what will happen these epithelium or epithelial shreds will try to envelop or will start enveloping all these primary oocyte and now this structure is called as follicle now this structure are called as so in this way the follicle develop in the ovary now we'll see that how the follicle and what are the stages of follicle up to the pre ovulatory stage so first we'll have a review that what all we have discussed till now that at 5 to 6 weeks of intrauterine life 500 to 1200 germ cells reach to the genital ridge genital ridge and they enter or they means they increase their number through mitosis and at 20th week of intrauterine life 6 to 7 million germ cell uh 6 to 7 million germ cell uh present in the ovary or developing ovary and once this number is reached the mitosis 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 is stopped mitosis is stopped and they enter into the first meiosis they all the all germ cells enter into the first meiosis and get arrested in the first prophase diplotene stage diplotene stage of the first prophase and these arrested meiosis are called as primary oocyte and these primary oocyte these primary oocyte will be enveloped by the mesothelial cells and now they are called as primary follic sorry primordial follicles so during this process means when means during this process of enveloping you can see there's decrease in number of primary oocyte due to apoptosis that process is called as apoptosis or apoptosis means programmed cell death so programmed cell death cell death as i told you that this is the maximum number this is the maximum number so it has to come down next what will happen at birth only 1 to 2 millions of follicles now we are now we are call it as follicle because the all germ cells all germ cells of primary oocyte are enveloped and that enveloped structure is called as follicle so at birth 1 to 2 millions of follicles are present and at puberty only 3 to 4 lakhs of follicle present and after menarch menarch means the first menstruation so after menarch we can see that every month 
thousands of follicles lost. And at menopause, there will be no follicles. So as you can see, around 14 years, generally menarch occurs in females. This is the average age. And uh, menopause, roughly around, we can say 44 to 45 years nowadays, because it has been uh, reduced from 52. So 44 to 45 years is the age of menopause menopause and if you uh, so total reproductive period is around uh, 30 years so 30 years and 30 years and every month number of uh, follicle around loss of follicle around 1000 then in every year there are 12 months so if you multiply all this so you will get the number that is 3 lakhs 60 thousand three lakh sixty thousand three lakh sixty thousand so you can see this is roughly around three to four lakh at puberty so at menopause there will be no follicle so during whole reproductive life or whole reproductive period we can see that only 400 follicles ovulate only 400 follicles ovulate Now, what are the stages of follicle from primordial to uh, ovulation? So first is the primordial follicle. This is the very earliest stage of the follicle. So if you'll see the structure of primordial follicle, there is primary oocyte, which is arrested, which is arrested um, ova. Next, it is surrounded by the spindle-shaped cell, which is derived from the mesothelial cells. So spindle-shaped cells, single layer, and then basal lamina. Basal lamina is nothing but the condensation of uh, the matrix. Condensation of matrix means the, the uh, we can say the substance in which the cells are embedded in the ovarian tissue that will get condensed, and uh, this will form the basal lamina. So that is actually the basal lamina. So this is the very uh, earliest structure or earliest phase of the follicle that is primordial follicle. It is very small in size, roughly around 29 uh, micrometer, something like that. Next is the primary follicle. So primary follicle, the only change in the primary follicle is the shape of the cells surrounding the oocyte. So in primordial follicle, the shape were the shape of these cells were spindle shaped, and now they are cuboidal shaped. Now they are cuboidal shaped, and there is single layer only, as you can see, a single layer. So, and again, the primary oocyte in the center. So, this is the structure of primary follicle. So, only there is change in the shape of follicle surrounding the ooze change in the shape of the cells surrounding the oocyte and these cells, these cuboidal shaped cells are called as granulosa cells, granulosa cells. So this is the primary follicle. Next is the secondary follicle. Secondary follicle, as you can see in this picture, two, uh, two major changes you can see here. One is the, layer, the layering of granulosa cell around the oocyte and this yellow, this yellow covering outside the ulema or oocyte. So this is nothing but zona pellucida. That is a protein covering, a protein layer around the uh, oocyte. And the second major change is the increase in the number of granulosa cell, or you can say increase in the layers of granulosa cell around the uh, oocyte. So these are the two major changes in the secondary follicle. So secondary follicle is nothing but uh, the number of granulosa cell will be more and it will be roughly around 2 to 10 layers of granulosa cells around the oocyte. So this structure is called as secondary follicle. Secondary follicle. 
so this is so two uh, means uh, two layer three layer four layer five layer up to 10 or 11 layers will be there in the secondary oocyte secondary oocyte sorry secondary follicle next comes the enteral follicle or this is also called as tertiary follicle this is also called as tertiary follicle tertiary follicle so here you can see what are the major changes so the important change here is this fluid collection so initially the fluid is secreted or you can see here in the in the layers of granulosa cells in the form of droplets and later on this is the quality of fluid that liquid jo hai wo kabhi bhi move karke aapas mein mil jate hain to ye later on all the droplets will be uh, will be will come together and form a cavity that is called as enteral cavity so one more thing here i would like to tell you that these small droplets ye jo these uh, small droplets hain inko jab microscope mein dekha gaya tha to ye it looks like certain bodies so inko kaha jata tha call exnars bodies these are the call exnars bodies so those bodies were nothing but droplets of uh, like of enteral cavity formation so this is you can say the early enteral follicle early enteral follicle and here you can see this is the uh, this is the mid mid enteral mid enteral mid enteral follicle and one more thing the large size enteral follicle was seen by the renier de graaf and based on that the large size enteral follicles are called as graafian follicle so jo renier de graaf the de graaf jo ye scientists the inhone jo structure observe kiya tha ovary ke andar graafian follicle sorry here it will be like graafian follicle so जो इन्होंने स्ट्रक्चर देखा था और ओवरी के अंदर इस फॉलिकल को इन्होंने डिस्क्राइब किया था दोज वर एक्चुअली लार्ज फॉलिकल जिसको इन्होंने माइक्रोस्कोप में ऑब्जर्व किया था रेनियर डिग्राफ ने तो वो ये लार्ज फॉलिकल्स थे जो फ्रूट फिल्ड कैविटी थी तो एक्चुअली जो ग्रेफियन फॉलिकल टर्म यूज किया जाता है दैट इज फॉर दी लार्ज फॉलिकल मीन्स रफली अराउंड पॉइंट टू ट्वेंटी तक का जो साइज है इन साइज की जो फॉलिकल्स मीन्स यहाँ से लेके प्रीट दिस इज प्रीट्री साइज तो और वी कैन से डोमिनेंट फॉलिकल साइज यहाँ से यहाँ तक की जितनी भी स्टेज आएगी उन सबको हम जो है ग्रेफिन फॉलिकल बोल सकते हैं बट प्राइम मॉडियल फॉलिकल को और प्राइमरी फॉलिकल को अगर हम ग्रेफिन फॉलिकल बोलेंगे तो ये करेक्ट नहीं है बिकॉज ग्रेफिन फॉलिकल ज्यादा लिटिल बिट लार्ज साइज फॉलिकल एंड अलॉन्ग विद द Enteral cavity. So this is the enteral follicle, and uh, so this is tertiary follicle. So tertiary follicle is also called as enteral follicle. And the major change is formation of enteral cavity or the fluid which is present inside that is called as liquor folliculi. And one more change you can see here that is the presence of that is the presence of. this spindle shaped cell that is derived from the stromal cells so from the stroma of the ovary the cells which are present in the stroma they will start arranging around this enteral follicle and this is the formation of theca layer theca layer and at this stage very important stage occur that is the presence of or development of fsh receptor in molecular level pe hum dekhe aur to yahan pe jo hai wo protein रिसेप्टार्स डेवलप होने लगते हैं ग्रेन्यूलोजा सेल्स एफ एस एच रिसेप्टार्स सो एट दिस स्टेज वी कैन सी दैट एफ एस एच रिसेप्टार्स और एट दिस स्टेज ऑल्सो सो एट स्टेज मीन्स एंट्रल फॉलिकल की जो स्टेज है उस स्टेज पे जो ग्रेन्यूलोजा सेल्स है उसमें एफ एस एच के रिसेप्टार्स जो है वो सेल्स के ऊपर डेवलप होने लगते हैं सो दिस इज द एंट्रल फॉलिकल दीज आर देंजेस वॉट आर द मेजर चेंजेस वन इज द formation of enteral cavity development of the fsh receptor or the granulosa cells and the theca layering outside the 
basement membrane next is this is the mature follicle or pre ovulatory follicle so here you can see the size of the antral cavity is increased one more layer is developed outside that is called as theca externa theca externa and uh, the inner layer is theca inter uh, interna and other cells we have already discussed so these are the major changes the only thing is ki the size of this follicle is large and around 23 to 25 mm and this is the size of a dominant follicle dominant follicle size of a dominant follicle so these are the different stages of follicular development follicular development so here we are going to revise once again this is the primordial this is primary preantral early antral preantral is nothing but you can say secondary secondary and uh, mid antral and pre ovulatory so these are the secondary so these are the different stages of follicle so as we have discussed that at this stage at this stage receptors are present fsh receptors so during every menstrual cycle the recruitment of follicle which are going to ovulate based on the presence of fsh receptors so from this to pre ovulatory stage this is called as fsh or you can say gonadotropin fsh dependent will be the better fsh dependent growth fsh dependent growth. and before that up to this stage this is fsh or you can say gonadotropin independent in dependent independent so jaisa ki hum jante hain ki during each menstrual cycle around 12 to 15 jo follicles hote hain wo recruit hote hain unme se ek jo hai ovulate karta hai to ye jo decide hota hai ki which follicles are going to recruit that is based on the presence of fsh receptors so jin follicles pe fsh ke sub ta develop hai means jo प्री एंट्रल स्टेज में और एंट्रल स्टेज के अराउंड है उनमें एफ एस एच के सब टास्क डेवलप है सो दे आर गोइंग टू रेस्पॉन्ड द एफ एस एच विच इज सिक्रीटेड फ्रॉम द एंटीप्यूट्री तो इस तरह से ये जो ग्रोथ होती है फ्रॉम प्राइम ऑडियल टू प्री एंट्रल तो ये जो ग्रोथ होती है दिस इज अंडर द लोकल फैक्टर्स लोकल फैक्टर्स ऑफ द ओवरी लोकल फैक्टर्स को वी कैन से ऑटोक्राइन एंड पैराक्राइन इफेक्ट पैराक्राइन इफेक्ट ऑटोक्राइन एंड पैराक्राइन effect effect and from acha fsh dependent stage jo hoti hai this is jaisa ki hum sabko pata hai ki follicular stage ka jo duration hota hai wo 14 days ka hota hai and how much time it will take from primordial to this stage that is around uh, around we can say um, 20 days to 300 so roughly we can say that from primordial to pre ovulatory stage the follicle will take around 300 days 300 days or around 300 days we can say so 300 to 315 days or on an average we can say here so from primordial to pre ovulatory stage the total time taken by the follicle is around 1 year and from antral or fsh dependent stage that is only 14 so antral stage se pre ovulatory tak reach hone mein only 14 days lagte hain so this was all about the development of follicle in the ovary and uh, hope you hope you will be able to understand what i have discussed here and hope you like the video if you like please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more video lectures thank you